redemption, then the first thing you're going to do is bow down to us with your face toward the earth. So are you willing to do that? Not today. Not today. Okay, so here's the deal. Give me uh my uh, uh my little children. You understand? Oh, John. Give me John 3 and 18. You understand? See here's see here's the problem with that, then. This this is this is the problem with it. It's not a problem for us. Because we could care less. You understand? Because we know what we have waiting for us if we come together and keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And we know what's coming to y'all if y'all just live your lives. You understand? It, it has no bearing on us other than wh where we going, how store y'all at while y'all pick our cotton. You understand? Go ahead. You got that scripture? All right, read this scripture for me. First John 3 and 18. My little children, let us not love in word neither in tongue now you consider yourself to be a child of the most high a child of god okay so so the description is talking to you read on read it again from the top my little children so you consider yourself to be a child of god this is the lord talking to you read on let us not love in word neither in tongue so to say that you know what can i do to be redemption i'm sorry for what what, what white people have done to black people you understand that's just words the lord said to, 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 to not love in words. You understand? Read on. But in deed and in truth. But in deed and in truth. So if you truly want redemption, if you truly feel sorry, you understand? Here's the thing. We had to hang from trees. We had to serve slavery for 400 years. You understand? We had to die at the hands of some lying white woman and then our children get murdered and thrown in the river. You understand? And the only thing the Lord is saying is to bow down with your face toward the earth. You understand? And you're not willing to do that today. Right? Give me Isaiah 14, 21. So, here, so here's the deal, right? So you ask the question, what can you do for redemption? And you're, and you're not willing to do that. Right? So here's the deal. I want, you to, I want to show you something, right? You understand? I want to show you something that you deserve. You understand? You deserve this. Read on. Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter. Read it loud. Prepare slaughter. You understand? This third world's war that's coming, guess what? Because you refuse to bow down, because you refuse to, to show remorse for what your forefathers did, right. then you're going to die in the third world's war. Right. Your right. children right. are going to die in the third world's war. That's Read right. on. Prepare slaughter. For his children. For who? For his children. For his children. You understand? Read on. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity of their fathers. Right. Listen, let me tell you something. You see these people in this sign right here? These people right here, they paid for the iniquity of their fathers. That's right. You understand? Emmett Till, he paid for the iniquity of his forefathers. Every black man is addicted to crack, on heroin, dying, dropped dead, or overdosing on fentanyl. They're paying for the sins of their forefathers. You understand? And just like how we pay for the sins of our forefathers, you're going to pay for the sins of our forefathers. That's Hold right. on. Because, because we gave you a chance to speak. We gave you a chance to do what you had to do. Now we're going to finish reading what's going to happen to you. Read on. Prepare I mean, for the iniquity of their fathers. Go ahead. That they do not rise. That they do not rise. You understand? Read on. Nor possess the land. Nor possess the land. You understand? Because if you, if you understand, the Bible say that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. Yeah, I'm right. You understand? So the Lord is bringing this third world's war to make sure that y'all never rule anywhere on this earth again. That's right. You understand? So when this kingdom falls, you and your children are going to die in the third world's war. Right. And your great-grandchildren is going into slavery. Right. Right. You understand? And with that, I'm getting back to my topic. You understand? I want you to go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68, Bob Kishon. You understand? We're not going to take no more questions. All right, go ahead and read it. Read that when you got it. Right. You understand? This, this, that, Danny right here, 
just prove that the white man is the devil, the Bible says. That's right. You understand? Because they walk up here and they try to act like they they so peaceful and serene, like they just so sorry for what their forefathers did, like they want remorse. But here's the thing. We had to die in America. We, we're not asking him to, to kill himself and his family. Right. You understand? The Lord said to bow down with your face toward the earth. That's right. And he said, no, nah, not today. Okay, no sweat. Well, the Lord going to kill you tomorrow. Right. You understand? Right. Yeah, we, we didn't get to say not today when we went into slavery. Right. You understand? We didn't get to say, Emmett Till didn't get to say not today when they, when they, when they murdered him and threw him in the river. Right. You understand? Oh, Tamir Rice didn't get to say not today when he was gunned down on the playground playing with a toy gun. Right. You understand? But this devil get to say not today. I'm not going to show remorse today. Right. You understand? That's such a white thing to do. That's right. Because that's what the lady did that 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 uh that, that uh had Emmett Till murdered. She could have came out and had remorse 70 years ago. That's right. But you know what she said? Not today. Not, not today. I'm not I'm not gonna feel sorry for him today. You understand? That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Because you know what? She's gonna die in the third world's war too. That's right. You understand? That's why I that's why I believe the Lord's still keeping her alive. You understand? Because the Lord got a special missile just for her. You understand? It's gonna land right on her house. You understand? Read this Christian when you got it out. Okay. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Hold on, hold on, one second. Go ahead, go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. You understand? Black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man, you understand? This Bible says that our oppressor is our enemy, man. Right. You understand? And that's why today they murdered us for 500 years. You understand? With that, we the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commander General Hunter. And with that, Shalom.